How's it going, everybody? This has got a transform mole. Today I have a third Mew Mythical Pokemon collection box to open. Now, not sure when I'm going to upload this. I know with the first two I opened, I uploaded them as soon as I could. Uh, and at the point I'm recording this, the Celebi collection box is out. Uh, I have not found it yet. And when I went to a local Target looking for it, uh, they just had a giant collection of these on their shelves. And I'm... It's every once in a while, I get a bit. I'm a little bit of a sucker when it comes to just seeing a bunch of something on a shelf, and I just decide I'm gonna grab one of them. Uh, mainly because what I think in my head is like by me helping to clear their shelves, they're more likely to get some of the newer stuff in. Because uh, with a bunch of these on the shelf anyway, there's no room for the Celebi box. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess that might be my reasoning why I got a third one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll ever end up getting three of the others. Uh, Maybe I will, because it'll, it'll probably help me collect the uh, generation set, buying three of each of them, but that that's, if I get if I go with the three instead of the two for all of them, that might be a bit more money, so we'll just have to see. Uh, but we have a third box here, let's we'll go ahead and get right into it. Oh wow, I completely forgot to change out the figure in the back, so, <laughs> goodbye Ravage, hello. Wide load? That's a first for me. <laughs> Forgetting to sw switch the figure for a new video. So this is Wide Load from the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen toy line. Ignore Ravage. That is not this video. <laughs> Just completely ripping open this box completely. We're going to skip the pamphlet because I've already shown that off before, I think. Uh, anyway, here we have the Mew pin. Really, really nice looking pin. I've seen uh, videos of the Celebi box too, and that is also a nice pin. Uh, we have the code card and the Mew promo, which again, this Mew promo is really, really nice. Amazing job with the artwork. X and Y number 110. So nice. And just as an ad bonus, here's a code card for you guys because I don't need more than one of a code card for a box set like this. So there's another code for the Mew Mythical Collection box for you guys. And then finally, we have our two packs of Generations, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue represented here, I guess. So fitting for Generations. But we'll go ahead and start with Blastoise, I guess, and save Charizard for last, just because. Here's hoping we don't double up on like a Reverse or a Hollow or EX or something. And I, I know there's a card trick, but just like with Legendary Treasures, I think it just gets too confusing. Even though I think it's just three from the back, maybe. But, yeah, forget it. So we have a Pikachu. Fairy Energy. Zubat. Magmar. Rapidash is the rare reverse, so very nice. I don't have the regular version of this yet, so I guess nice to get the rare reverse of it. Really, really nice artwork. Uh, then we have Wally for a Radiant Collection card. <laughs> There's the regular Rapidash. So now I've got both versions. Very cool, I guess. Very nice. And then we have Shroomish. Always tough for me to say that name. Shroomish. Uh, Pokemon Center Lady. Pokemon Fan Club. And that was it. <laughs> so very, very cool to get the... Uh, I guess ended up getting both versions of Rapidash in that one pack. <laughs> but onto the second. Hopefully we can at least get one EX or something out of here. And then once again, just going from right right from the top, we have a Krabby. Caterpie. Meowth. Rhyhorn. Haunter is the reverse. That is an uncommon, so not bad. Then we... Ooh. There's an EX. This card just looks so nice, but at the same time, like, I find it so creepy, because it's like, their giant alien-like eyes are all just staring at you, and they're all in the same pose, and just... Uh, it's just kind of creepy, but... The artwork is really, really nice. <laughs> so it's a mixture for me. Uh, really, really awesome to get a full art from the rating collection now. 
Very, very nice. So Flareon EX, nice to add that to the collection. Ooh, Golem. I know I have the EX, but I have not pulled this card yet, and I was not aware it was a hollow. That is amazing artwork. Like, that is just like... He is going to wreck something. Like, there's like his eyes are red. There's just fire all around him. He is just ready to go at something. I love that artwork. Very, very nice pack right here. Uh, then we have Raichu, Cloyster, and Haunter. So in both of our packs, the Reverse Hollow was also in the pack as a regular version. But overall, I'm thrilled with the pulls here. Happy I bought this second, this third box. Uh, we have the Rapid Ash Rare Reverse, the Flareon EX Full Art, which is awesome and creepy to me at the same time because of the bug-eyed, alien-eyed <laughs> evolutions. And then we also had the Golem Hollow, which I love that artwork more than the Flareon one, honestly. So, so, like, nice artwork. Uh, but that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will not pick up any more of the Mew collection box. Instead, I will wait until I find either the Celebi collection box or the Charizard EX uh, Generations box, whichever I find first and whichever just comes out first. Although, although that is the Celebi one, because I did mention the Celebi one was out. Never mind. So whichever I find first. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And have a great day.